Pensioneros. Hey guys, how are you? Renata here and welcome to my channel. And uh, just finished filming on Lithuanian channel about my skincare, how I kind of prevent my skin from aging. <laughs> I might do one in English, I'm not sure. Let me know if you want me to do one. Uh, but now I'm going to talk to you about apple cider vinegar and why I like it. I actually have apple cider vinegar in my fridge all the time and I use it on daily basis. Okay, let's begin. First of all, I you have to buy a natural, unprocessed, raw, this mother, brown color looking, not very attractive looking, dull looking apple cider vinegar because that's the best form of apple cider vinegar which is unprocessed. It means all of the vitamins and minerals is inside. I like apple cider vinegar because it's antiseptic and it's actually detoxifying and it's really good for your body, good for your skin and good even for your disinfect your house, for your makeup brushes, for your hair, for your mouth, for your internal organs, for everything. So I use apple cider vinegar, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six ways. And let's begin. So the number one way how I use it is for my hair. What I do is after I shampoo and condition my hair as regularly, I just rinse them with apple cider vinegar mixture, which is 50% of apple cider vinegar and 50% of water. If you do not want the hair smell, you can rinse your hair after immediately. My point is when the hair dries, the smell is gone. Apple cider vinegar actually removes all of the dust and all of the leftover shampoos and conditioners and sprays and gels and all of that you have previously. Don't forget that when we wash our hair, we still leave conditioner, we still maybe leave in mask. So it's always builds up products on top, one on top of another, on top of another. And even if you think you wash your hair very well, it's still there something left. Second thing what I really love to use apple cider vinegar for, for makeup brushes. Actually, how many times I try to, I don't use much makeup. I, I only use BB cream. But I use foundation maybe once, I would say in three months. I need to get rid of my foundations because ever since becoming vegan, guys, and including lots of water into my diet, and obviously vegan lifestyle is pretty healthy. Well, you can be vegan and not healthy. Majority of the times you're healthy. I've noticed how my skin basically cleared. My skin became brighter, lighter, and I don't have pigmentation. I'm just very happy with it. Wood, 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 and uh, yes, I'm just very happy. So I don't use foundations because I don't feel big need of it. So what I do is, but I still use uh, some eyeshadows and some bronzers. So what I do is, when I need to remove all of the build-up makeup, of course, on my makeup brushes, before I used to wash it only with the washing powder, washing liquid, dishwasher liquid, or I used to wash it with the shampoo or my regular, yeah, regular shampoo. What I noticed is they never used to wash very well and I was always afraid maybe they are not disinfected that well. So I went online and I searched and I find out that if you mix water, make glass of water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of uh, washing liquid, you mix them all together, leave it, your makeup brushes inside for five to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, half an hour if you like, and then wash it really well, repeat if needed, and also rinse after that with water. You will see your makeup brushes is squeaky clean. You know, you feel this, it's really good, it disinfects. So, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of li soap liquid, wash liquid, clean liquid, whatever, dishwasher liquid, yes, that's the one. Don't worry, it won't do allergic reaction to your skin. It's okay, you wash it off very well. Many people doing it all over the world and it's fine. And then you mix it with water and that's it. It's really good, really, really nice. Third thing is I use is on my lips, directly without mixing with water, without anything, put it on the lips. Removes the dead skin, removes all the build up, maybe lipsticks and lip liners, whatever you had it previously. It's really good to bring that natural pink color onto your lips. And it's really good way of like circulating the blood to your lips and giving that nice natural glow. So this is what I use for. Second, third, fourth now thing is, 
toner i love it use it as a toner on the daily basis do you know that scarlett johansson she uses it on a daily basis apple cider vinegar and water mix 50 50 together and use it as a toner every single day i love it i don't have pimples and sometimes slightly breakouts because of my period but i guess we all have sometimes well except guys we you know we have hormones going on and maybe weather changes and not slept very well and someone make you crazy of course you have few pimples here and there it's okay but in general my skin really cleared because of apple cider vinegar i never realized when i read it that scarlett johansson or she said it in one of the interviews i was a little bit skeptical i thought it's going to dry my skin or it's going to really like acidic to my skin and really bad no when you mix it it's really really nice 50 percent water 50% apple cider vinegar mix them together every single day morning and evening balances your skin actually balances your skin really clears everything prevents from breaking out makes it brighter makes it lighter. it's really nice and glowing so try of course it's going to smell honey really bad but you're going to smell like salad but then when you when the skin is dry the smell is completely gone so do not worry about it no need to wash your face also if you really can't stand the smell you can wash your face after a few minutes but the minute the apple cider vinegar dries on your skin it's it's all gone so that's good yeah the next thing is if you want to disinfect your mouth really well and have a nice fresh breath aha you use 50 percent of water and 50 percent of apple cider vinegar and you gargle together same as your mouthwash it kills bacteria nothing really makes my breast so like feeling fresh for myself as really having this apple cider vinegar mixed mixture with water 50 percent 50 percent so instead of having this 10 bottles of 50 50 50 percent water and apple cider vinegar just have a big jar and do everything you can do with it because the majority of it just goes 50 50 so it's really good once you get to know you'll be like yeah baby give it to me give me baby one more time <laughs> anyway so that's good drinking if you would like to shed few pounds and if you would like to improve your digestive and of course overall health and improve your glowing and improve everything i would recommend you take it internally i take it internally daily so i have a big glass of water and I will add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. It tastes like crap, really not nice. Add some apple juice if you like, or cranberry juice, or you can start build gradually. You can have only one tablespoon if you like and just drink it. Or you can have a small one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a water and just drink it fast. Like you don't have to have a big one liter or two liter of water or half liter of water and sip it throughout the day. I like it, I add lots of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, sometimes more. Sometimes I add green tea, uh, tea bag, mix it all together, add some ice and that's it and sip out through the day. My dog is looking at me because earlier I made a video in Lithuania so he was very suspicious of who is this woman? What is she talking about? Oh, Barkley. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, so go for it. Just buy big he's not happy thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoy see you bye